what if we told you that your entire future has already been laid out? <gasps> how did you know my name? And that only some people know what's going to happen. Look, Homer's got one of those robot cars. Because they've been to the future. What's this thing in the corner? It looks like a vortex. A gateway into another dimension. It all sounds insane until you tune into The Simpsons. That's right, this household show has been masking an insane secret. Nine bucks? This one's on me. Allegedly, the creators are time travelers trying to warn us of our fate. I am officially running. No, no. All you've got to do is watch. Ah! Predicting Trump's first presidential run might have seemed like a lucky guess. Maybe the showrunners were just playing around, given Trump's interest in politics. But now, predicting something as close as his potential return? That's intriguing. The same episodes that suggested Trump would rise in politics also hinted at his possible return to power. Though it wasn't explicitly shown, the hints about his presidency and desire to come back are noteworthy. I am officially running. No, no. With the elections heating up and Trump hinting at a comeback. Vote for Donald J. Trump. Very simple. Close. Could The Simpsons be on the verge of predicting his second term? What do you think? President Harris. While Trump's presidency grabs most of the spotlight, let's shift focus to Lisa Simpson. Becoming the first female president of the United States is a big deal, and her leadership comes after Trump's tenure. Excellent question. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. This raises an interesting question. Was Lisa's role as the first female president after Trump just a coincidence? Consider the similarities between President Biden's inauguration and Lisa's portrayal. From the attitude to the pearls, there are striking resemblances between Kamala Harris and Lisa. Some say it's just a coincidence, while others think Harris might have done it intentionally. Could Lisa's presidency be hinting at a future where the U.S. has a female president, especially since we're halfway there? Portal Travel Speaking of portals, is no one going to address how The Simpsons has shown us how transport will be in the future? Oh, ma'am, you really shouldn't teleport when you're pregnant. I'm afraid your only choice is air travel. Since we're already pretty advanced and experimenting with newer and newer ways of travel, like even Elon Musk coming up with a now scrapped idea of the Hyperloop. But if The Simpsons says we'll be moving up to using portals in the future, maybe the idea isn't as crazy as it seems. After all, we have been noticing some weird stuff going around. And even what looks like portals mysteriously opening up in areas around the world. Which means we're getting closer and closer to what The Simpsons says life has in store for us. What's this thing in the corner? It looks like a vortex. A gateway into another dimension. Ivanka's Run in another one of The Simpsons' glimpses to the future, we see a rising political figure. Encouraged by Trump, his daughter Ivanka is shown as a prominent candidate, with Homer sporting a lapel pin that says Ivanka 2028. This clearly hints at her future run for president. The new Supreme Court Justice Ivanka takes Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat on the bench. While it might seem like stretching the future, with Trump making a comeback and potentially winning the presidency, there's a possibility he could set up Ivanka for the next campaign. It's not uncommon for leaders to groom their children for leadership roles. Given Trump's vocal support for Ivanka and her growing political presence, it's possible we could see her in power as well. Rice's Demise a helicopter carrying Iran's president and its foreign minister crashed in the northwest of the country in thick fog. On May 19, 2024, the world witnessed the end of an era as Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, sadly lost his life at a tragic event. His helicopter went down suddenly, leaving many in shock and disbelief. If only there was a way to foresee or prevent it. And here we are, back with The Simpsons. Anonymously shared online, an image from the show, supposedly from an unaired episode, depicts a similar incident, though no one's been able to verify this. But here's where it gets even stranger. In an older episode, Homer mentions a date and time suggesting a tragic event. The date? May 19th, 3.15 a.m. 
close to the timing of Ricey's helicopter incident. A coincidence? Or something more? Texan Independence if you've been a good student in history, you know all about Texas, how it was once part of Mexico, then went on to become independent, and even was its own country. Later, it merged with the U.S. as a state. Now, all is fine and dandy, but every now and then, some Texans talk about wanting independence and legally seceding. However, most people in Texas and the United States don't think this is a good idea which is why it's never really gone beyond. Except in one episode of The Simpsons, look at what the portal says. That's right, Independent Republic of Texas. Does that mean we'll be looking at an independent country within the US soon? And Emotions Incorporated. In one of the older episodes of The Simpsons, we see Homer Simpson meeting up with a stock trader and buying shares of Animotion Incorporated. I like to buy 500 shares of Animotion Incorporated. In the same scene, we see how well the trade goes. Animotion. Animotion. Up one and one half. Yoo-hoo! With Homer internally rejoicing at the hundreds and thousands of dollars he'll earn. If you're one to keep up with trends, you know how the deal goes. Animotion Incorporated is still going strong. But here's the crazy part. In the same episode, Homer ends up losing his money. Stock market Animotion is up an eight. The firm declared super duper bankruptcy, which is terrible news for the company's only stockholder, Homer Simpson. Oh! But we've yet to see that day. It makes you wonder, are the Simpsons toying with us or trying to help us secure a good future? Are you sure you understand the risks of stock ownership? Absolutely. Area 51. Perhaps one of the biggest mysteries in the US is Area 51, the place rumored to host aliens and extraterrestrial aircrafts. And there was even a point in time when multiple residents stormed Area 51, only to find out there wasn't anything there, and that the facility isn't the Area 51 they thought it was. Now, it was all hilarious back then, but as we go back to the Simpsons episodes, you'll find one where Lisa takes the wrong bus and winds up at a place called Area 51. I found Area 51! But when she talks to the guard, he firmly claims it isn't THE Area 51, but Area 51A. I found Area 51! No ma'am, this is Area 51A. Meaning Lisa was misled. But this incident makes you wonder, doesn't it? Sunblock Harvard has been working on an experiment since 2018. Due to rising global warming, scientists are trying to figure out if there's a way to literally block out the sun, or parts of it, in order to evade the heat. As they're still working on this one, funnily enough, if you tune into The Simpsons, Mr. Burns, in a fit of rage and craze, decides to literally block the sun. That's the beginning of time man has yearned to destroy the sun. I will do the next best thing. Block it out. Back then, it seemed like a gag. But it looks like Mr. Burns' idea had some sort of shape to it. Take one last look at the sun, Springfield. <laughs> Tesla's Prediction Speaking of Tesla, in another humorous episode of The Simpsons, we see Homer freak out at the thought of being spotted in public with Ned Flanders. <gasps> Duck! I can't let the boy see me with you! What? <laughs> Hi. So he makes it look like he's driving a driverless car. Look, Homer's got one of those robot cars! And as we all very much know, decades later, we're now seeing more of these driverless cars take the streets, all thanks to Elon Musk's brain baby, Tesla. Perhaps The Simpsons was just trying to fantasize about technology, but this certainly seems like it got pretty close to predicting the future. I wonder what else it's predicted that's yet to come true. Brazilian Banknotes I'm beginning to think The Simpsons aren't only predicting the future, but they've become so great at it that reality is practically basing itself around the episodes. In a short still from an old Simpsons episode, you can see how a man reaches out for 200 in Brazilian real. Back when this episode aired, there was no 200 in Brazilian currency notes. But in 2020, the Central Bank of Brazil announced 200 reals. That's weird, considering there wasn't a plan to do such a thing earlier. But now, the currency's got this. Amazon burning. 
In a rather unique episode of The Simpsons, Homer is taken by a bunch of hooligans living in Brazil. As they go down the Amazon, they say it'll be a quick trip since most of the Amazon is burning down. Behold, the Amazon. But quick, because we are burning it down. Tragically, it wasn't just a joke on their end. It seems like the creators of The Simpsons were just trying to tell us how bad we'd be treating Mother Nature. Because years later, in 2024, there are multiple reports of the Amazon being burned down. Activists are working on it, but it seems like if we just paid a bit more attention to cartoons, we might have been able to prevent this. Astronaut Driver the Simpsons has truly outdone itself. While we're talking about small things it's predicted, we're now looking into one phenomenal thing. In an old, old episode, there's a short scene with an astronaut sitting upright in a car and aggressively trying to travel. Of course, since he's literally in a car, he isn't flying in space. That's impossible, right? Or is it? In 2018, years after the Simpsons episode, Elon Musk kickstarted a road trip in space. That's right. Remember that a Tesla was launched into space for some detailed experiment that will take us back to science class. But isn't this crazy how something literally thought impossible became true right before our eyes? Bell Pepper Snacks Simpsons predictions aren't always dark. They can be pretty amusing, too. In one episode, Homer, while at a game, buys bell peppers to eat. Crunchy and bland! Three, please! <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but just eating a raw bell pepper seems kind of crazy. And then, a couple of years later, this fan was spotted. Either the fan took some serious inspiration from The Simpsons, or the show really has got tricks up its sleeve. Solar Superstorm Just weeks before the total solar eclipse, chaos erupted worldwide. Why? Many feared the solar storm would usher in an apocalyptic scenario, leaving us all powerless. This wasn't just a random fear. The Simpsons, known for its apocalyptic episodes, once hinted at a full solar eclipse happening in 2024. And as it turns out, that prediction came true. Thankfully, the apocalypse didn't materialize, and we're all safe for now. But could we still be inching towards a disaster we haven't yet noticed? <coughs> it's wise to stay vigilant, even if things seem calm at the moment. NSA Spying Scandal In perhaps one of the most controversial scenes, The Simpsons, in its movie, alluded to the NSA spying on citizens through surveilling their devices. No, Lisa, it's not like the government is listening to everybody's conversation. When the movie aired, this was met with a lot of criticism, and rightfully so. But then, Edward Snowden, a whistleblower of the NSA, confirmed how it really was keeping track of citizens through their devices. NSA and the intelligence community in general, collecting your communications. And this was six years after the Simpsons movie. Huh, if only we'd taken it a little bit more seriously. Hey everybody, I found one! The government actually found someone we're looking for! GameStop and Bitcoin. If you've traded in GameStop, you might want to be a little more hopeful. Sure, the trade hasn't gone as smoothly as we'd expect, but if we're really putting our trust into The Simpsons, we might as well go all in. In one Simpsons episode, it's predicted that GameStop stocks hit a trillion dollars in profits. If that's true, and will be, it means we're coming closer and closer to the real deal. And that's not all. See in that corner there? That's Bitcoin set at an infinity. Whoa! It seems like investing in all this might just be beneficial. Hey, remember, I'm only saying might. <laughs> Flu Pocalypse. Imagine if we had known the Simpsons could have predicted the coronavirus pandemic. We might have been ready. COVID-19 seemed to appear out of the blue. But there's an old episode from season four, Marge and Chains, that hints otherwise. In this episode, Homer receives a box tainted by a sick worker's germs. <coughs> Soon, Springfield is hit with a strange flu, <coughs> evolving into a full-blown pandemic. The twist? At the episode's end, people are in the streets demanding a cure. We need a cure! We need a cure! Only for the doctor to say one isn't available. 
Why, the only cure is bed rest. Anything I give you would only be a placebo. Sounds a lot like the early days of the pandemic, now doesn't it? Alien Takeover one of the most mind-blowing revelations recently was Congress confirming the existence of aliens. And get this, they even presented alien mummies from undisclosed locations. While some, like the Nazca mummies, have gotten a lot of attention, what's the connection to The Simpsons? Remember that quirky theory that we might already be living among aliens disguised as humans? Well, The Simpsons touched on this idea in an old episode, where national leaders were shown as aliens. With our current close encounter with the alien world, who's to say that having extraterrestrials in positions of power isn't a real possibility in 2024? Miami Aliens Just a few months ago, rumors of a bright alien creature suddenly appearing out of nowhere in a mall in Miami began circulating. There were even a few visuals to back up this claim. But what if I told you this was all prophesized to happen several years ago? And that too, by an animation. During an episode of Season 8 of The Simpsons, Homer encounters a bright, glowing creature in the woods. Although Homer's alien encounter didn't exactly happen in a mall, the likeness of the alien to the one that allegedly appeared in the Miami Mall is too much to be passed off as just a coincidence. Zombies World We've already seen The Simpsons nail a prediction in a pretty chilling way. The pandemic. As we hope for a peaceful 2025, it's worth considering what might be lurking ahead. Could we be on the brink of something like a zombie apocalypse? It might sound far-fetched, but it's not entirely impossible. The Simpsons once depicted a zombie outbreak spreading through tainted meat. Mmm, juicy, flavorful, with just a hint of... And now, with rising cases of viruses jumping from animals to humans, especially through meat and poultry, we might be closer to this scenario than we'd like to believe. If we don't act fast, we could be facing a zombie apocalypse sooner than expected. Oh man, that breeze feels good! A Starbucks World Let's be honest, as much as we love a cup of coffee in the morning, seeing a Starbucks every five minutes is beginning to feel like a lot. Just when the chain was starting up, The Simpsons predicted it would be a big thing. And well, here we are. But here's where it gets even crazier. The Simpsons also predicted there would be a mega Starbucks store. And it looks like that crazy idea is beginning to take real shape. Plexus Wheel Ow! Oh, my back! Dr. Steve didn't do anything! After battling lifelong back pain, Homer miraculously heals his by landing on a trash can. Ah. Oh. oh! Oh! Dad, are you okay? Thus inspiring him to become a chiropractor and creating a fun tool to help others ease back pain. Hey, it worked! My shearing leg pain is now a gentle numbness. His career as a chiropractor was pretty short-lived, but perhaps it was more than just a moment. Years later, people began raving about this miraculous back healer, dubbed the Plexus Wheel. It's so popular, the tool is still trending today, but you can't help but notice how similar it is to Homer's invention. Neuralink Back in 1998, a short commercial showed Homer undergoing brain surgery to have an Intel Pentium 2 chip implanted. The goal? To boost Homer's less than stellar intelligence. And surprisingly, it worked. He ended up giving a lecture at Springfield University, proving he could be much smarter than anyone ever imagined. Now, while brain implants aren't a new concept, a chip designed to make people smarter and simplify tasks sounds a lot like Elon Musk's Neuralink. His implant aims to let humans connect to their devices and control them with mere thoughts. With Neuralink already moving into human trials, we might just see a few refurbished homers of the world real soon. Game of Thrones If you're not caught up on Game of Thrones at this point, well, you still might want to skip this and maybe even hold off on watching The Simpsons for a while. In the first episode of season 29, The Simpsons are dropped into a medieval, magical realm. 
After a thrilling journey, they're facing a near-certain demise, until the dragon suddenly swoops in and burns everything to ashes. Now, here's the interesting part. Shortly after this episode aired, Game of Thrones featured a very similar scene with, you guessed it, a dragon torching a city. Could the Game of Thrones writers have taken a page from The Simpsons? Or does Matt Groening know something we don't? Apple Vision Pro You might think that most of these so-called predictions we've seen are just coincidences. Often because they barely resemble reality. But what if I told you that The Simpsons got something spot on, even down to the characters' actions? Take a look at this. Doesn't it feel familiar? In one episode, The Simpsons world is taken over by a futuristic VR headset. And while many versions have been created over the years, people are now comparing it to the Apple Vision Pro. Seriously, just look at how these characters move and interact. It's like The Simpsons directly mirrored reality. Could this be proof that the show's creators have a secret window into the future? Unexpected Benching just last year, Don Mattingly was benched by his manager because he refused to comply with an appearance policy, which required him to shave off his beard and get a haircut. Mattingly went on to stay on top of his game despite the small event, but true Simpsons fans know this day was to come. In an old episode where Mr. Burns is leading Don Mattingly's team, he frequently asks Mattingly to cut those sideburns. Mattingly, for the last time, get rid of those sideburns! Don't argue with me, just get rid of them! Of course, Mattingly refuses and is benched, much like what happened now. I thought I told you to trim those sideburns! Go home! You're off the team! Fine. Spread of Misinformation As the pandemic wreaked havoc, we saw thousands of people refuse the COVID-19 booster because they believed it was a way to control our minds. Of course, that's all bah humbug, but in one episode, Homer writes a blog post about how the flu shot is a way for authorities to gain control of the public's minds. Not only does his blog spread misinformation, but it also creates mass hysteria which ends up in the same way every other Simpsons plot does. But do you think this is just a mere coincidence? They're controlling our minds with flu shots. I knew it! Siegfried and Roy's Tiger Incident A couple of years ago, popular magicians and performers Siegfried and Roy took to the stage with the promise of an exciting tiger performance. What followed instead was an unexpected tackle a terrible fate, and an audience scurrying to get the authorities. Of course, working with an unrestrained tiger does have its predicaments, but it looks like The Simpsons warned us this would happen in a ye old episode, where performers were tackled by their beastly cats. Voting Error Back when Obama was running for president, Homer Simpson tried to vote for him, but somehow the voting machine errors and casts his vote for the opposite candidate. One vote for McCain. Thank you. <laughs> no, I want to vote for Obama. Two votes for McCain. <laughs> it wasn't until a while later, when voting began for the presidency, that a faulty voting machine in Pennsylvania counted a vote for Obama as one for Romney instead. Thankfully, it was quickly thrown to the curb and rectified. But maybe the Simpsons were trying to tell us something about the future. FIFA's Corruption Scandal in 2015, FIFA officials were reprimanded and arrested on corruption charges over 2018 and 2022 World Cup bids. We all remember this. It was pretty big news, especially with how unexpected it was. The investigation carried on, with many even being barred on conditional terms. But what if we told you this had all been predicted by the very same yellow characters we've been laughing at? They did say such corruption would take place, but then it was a bit too early. Uh, I myself am about to be arrested for corruption. Now, it's more than just a coincidence. Greece's debt default. A couple of years ago, Greece applied for an international bailout after filing bankruptcy. As tumultuous as it was, it also wasn't shocking for eager-eyed Simpsons viewers who knew this day was coming. Well, maybe we should turn to the show for any and all political understandings. Titan Submersible on June 18th, 2023, the world was gripped by a tragic event when the Titan submersible ventured deep underwater and never resurfaced. 
As people came to terms with the disaster, others have drawn connections to a certain episode of The Simpsons with an eerily similar storyline. In that episode, Homer goes on an underwater mission with someone he believes to be his father. The two are in separate submersibles, but at the ocean floor, they are separated, with Homer losing consciousness due to lack of air. Though he makes it out safely, viewers couldn't help but see a link to the Titan incident. Could it have been prevented? Barbenheimer in one of the most surprising coincidences, The Simpsons seemingly predicted the simultaneous release of two very different movies. That's right, we're talking about the recent back-to-back -back release of the Barbie movie and Oppenheimer, which turned out to be one of Hollywood's biggest days ever. And of course, The Simpsons had a hand in this too. In an older episode, Marge and Homer are looking at some movie posters. One shows what looks like a seaside adventure, while the other clearly features smoke and even the name Oppenheimer. Sure, there's no Malibu Stacy here, but the fact that two wildly contrasting movies appeared on the same day is pretty strange. Tom Hanks' Peace The Simpsons aren't just known for predicting major events. Even some of their quick gags are coming to life. In one old episode, Tom Hanks makes a cameo as himself. Hello, I'm Tom Hanks. And jokes about the government using him to keep citizens cheerful. Now, this didn't seem like much of a stretch, given Tom Hanks' long-standing popularity. But who would have guessed it would align with one of the most tumultuous times in U.S. politics? This joke hit a bit closer to reality in 2021, when Tom Hanks actually hosted a concert for President Biden's inauguration, proving once again that The Simpsons might just be onto something. Education In 2020, Canon China announced that it would install AI-enabled cameras in its offices to only allow employees who are smiling to enter. As dystopian and out of the ordinary this idea seemed like, you'd be surprised at how accurately The Simpsons had it. In an episode where Homer travels through space, time, and dimensions, he reaches one where people are required to smile if they want to progress, and are also bound to Ned Flanders. Don't you remember, Dad? Flanders is the unquestioned lord and master of the world. That was pretty dystopian of them, but it looks like we're living that reality now. What the hell are you smiling at? Humanoid Fish I know some of you might find this a bit wild, but just bear with me here. In an old episode, we see Flanders showing off a special kind of fish, and long story short, by the end of the episode, this fish grows humanoid legs, leaps out of the water, and starts breathing. <gasps> and annoyed Flanders quickly tosses it back into the tank. Now, you could argue the fish didn't just evolve, but maybe transformed into something more alien-like. Sounds like a stretch, right? But here's the kicker. Something similar actually happened recently. And while it looks like a regular fish, even scientists can't quite pin down what it really is. What do you think? Autocorrect fails. You'd be surprised at how many small things The Simpsons has hinted at, and we've even worked with most of them, not knowing the animated show was talking about them all this time. Now, this one isn't a prediction per se, but you could say it's a semi-prediction. Remember back when we were still learning about smartphones and the latest technology? Well, around the time when phone companies were experimenting with autocorrect, one Simpsons episode predicted autocorrect wouldn't be as helpful as we thought. Hey, Dolph, take a memo on your Newton. This was really supposed to say something else. Considering how we're running into these problems now, either The Simpsons is really good at telling the future, or knows how some technologies will fail. Headless Statue Here's one that makes you scratch your head. In 2020, two Christopher Columbus statues took the brunt of silent hate as one was thrown in a lake and the other was found without its head. You're probably wondering why we're bringing up a news like this now. Well, of course, it's got something to do with The Simpsons. In Season 7, they detail the history of Jebediah Springfield, who's practically the equivalent of Christopher Columbus but for Springfield. But then, Bart, prompted by senior students, ends up breaking the head of the statue. So what's in the bag, Bart? <laughs> in the exact manner the statue in reality was found. 
Now, that's gotta be more than just a coincidence. Corrupt Cops Marge Simpson wasn't always a housewife. She also tried out as a cop, and was even a pretty successful one. Excuse me. What, 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 what? Actually, I'm interested in becoming a police officer. During her reign as a cop, she invited Lisa along for a ride-along, or just a casual visit to the police station. Only it didn't go according to plan. Lisa, being an incredibly intelligent and emotionally aware person, says this. Mom, I know your intentions are good, but aren't the police a protective force that maintains the status quo for the wealthy elite? Sounds painfully familiar, doesn't it? It seems like she was right on the money with this one. Ugh, what a sad prediction to have come true. Aquaman, The Shape of Water Just hear this one out. The comic book guy says this. But Aquaman... You cannot marry a woman without gills. And back then, when the episode initially aired, it sounded like such a crazy idea that a hero who primarily dwells in water would be able to settle down with a person who doesn't even have gills. But, spoiler alert, a couple of years later, the comics adapted the story to have Aquaman pair with someone who doesn't have gills. And the movie, The Shape of Water, went on to follow the same sort of story. Ubering around. Nowadays, most of us are Ubering from one place to another. For us, Ubers become the forefront of going someplace without having to drive. But if we rewind a little and search for the right episode, we'll see The Simpsons predicted Uber. Here comes our ride. I called Uber Kid. And plenty of other things as well. There are multiple instances about it, but it's crazy to think how something like this happened decades ago. It is still happening now. J.C. Penny's Fate a couple of years ago, J.C. Penney surprised the world by filing for bankruptcy. Since then, the store chain has been trying to get back up, with even closing some stores this year. It looks like the future for the store is bleak, and it will run out in no time. If you think the store filing for bankruptcy was a shocker, though, just go back to The Simpsons, and there's an entire episode about the mall where one of the only stores that seems to have suffered a lot is J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney's used to be here. Mm. WandaVision Cross Simpsons The WandaVision show paid tribute to a couple of old classics like I Love Lucy and others. While watching it was pretty fun, WandaVision wasn't the only show to do this. In fact, some are wondering if The Simpsons was telling us about this tribute ages ago. The fact that they tribute almost the same shows can't be a coincidence, now can it? Or maybe the showrunners of One Division took some inspiration. But hey, it's all just a bunch of words. Cast Reunion Among one of the few things The Simpsons has accurately predicted, in an ancient episode, Lisa talks about the reunion of the cast of Facts of Life. When the episode originally aired, it seemed like Lisa's words were insane, especially since the cast hadn't even mentioned returning. But lo and behold, in 2019, the same cast came back with a bounce and announced a reunion. Oh, the stars are beginning to align a little too perfectly. What do you think? Open Discussion The Simpsons have predicted countless things. But nothing has been more terrifying than knowing the fate of the former U.S. President Donald Trump. Not only did The Simpsons predict his presidency when he wasn't even prominent in politics, but they also predicted how things would be going after he was no longer president. It's quite a budget crunch for President Trump. Now, if you've been keeping up with the news, you'll know that Trump recently experienced a harrowing event. This picture's going around with the notion that The Simpsons predicted Trump's predicament. And while the show has been pretty accurate, it did not predict this. It seems like reality finally broke The Simpsons' predictions. But that doesn't mean all the predictions are false.